Okay, it's Sunday the 16th of October, so let's have a look at the FTSE for the trading week ahead. Um, okay, so first thing to go over is last week's analysis. We were looking for this pullback into these key levels down here, which is exactly what we've seen last week. And then you can see on the Thursday, the bulls have stepped in. On the Friday, um, they've attempted to ramp it up even further, which has then sold off into the um, close. Going into next week now, well, it's important to look at this price action exactly as it is right now. So, although we have reacted off of the support level, we've been given no um, evidence that this bullish run is looking to continue. What has happened is, as the market has pushed up, before it's made um, this spike up here and then rejection, we've stalled right here. As we've stalled, what we've done is we have created these lows here, here. I'm just going to scroll across the low of this candle and then we poke through here and here um, and then close back above it. This is now acting as resistance, as is the level up here. So 7080 basically and 7020. Both of these levels are acting as resistance. For this market to turn back to being bullish for me again, I need to see on the daily time frame at least closes above the 7020 level. And then I would still expect some sort of a, a smaller reaction up towards 7080. But currently, the way the market is sitting, um, this is still giving us negative sentiment. It's pushed up and it's rejected at the resistance levels after it's bounced off of the key support levels. As long as price action is um, acting like this, you know the market is still negative. Now, we still have these key support levels down here. If we scroll out, You can see there's lots more key support levels as we're coming down. You can see all these very, very strong. You know, here, 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 all across here. So going into next week, um, start of next week, what I'm looking at is, well, first of all, the current um, outlook is negative rather than positive. As long as we're below the resistance level, it will continue to be negative. And I'll be looking for further selling pressure to come into this market. It's only if we start to get above this level right here, um, trading above here, accepting above here, that I would expect once again the market to make an attempt at another all-time high. It's important to look at the market like this. Um, a lot of people, what they see is, they turn on the chart, they see this. They're automatically just bullish. They're trading on lower time frames, uh, but taking their analysis like this on the higher time frames. It's very important when you're trading lower time frames, but doing your higher time frame analysis, that you look at the smaller picture. So rather than just looking at this and seeing a very strong uptrend, I'm basically looking at this section here. So, you know, the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten trading days. And it's, it's within these areas that you're going to get your clear picture as to what the market is um, likely to do in the short to medium term, which is, you know, which is, is where we do our work. Okay, so next week, that's exactly what I'm looking at. Um, there's not too much to go over. It's purely, you know, the key level is here. There's another resistance level up here. Uh, whilst the market is doing what it's doing currently, it's it's still negative. And I'll be looking for a stronger um, retrace. Okay, that's everything for this week, guys. Um, as always, I hope it was helpful. I'm James Orr, and thank you.